Joe with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. So today I'm going to do a quick little Valentine um, sign and I'm going to start with the bubble heart that I got at the Dollar Tree and I've given it a couple of coats of paint already and then I am going to be doing the pouring technique over this. So we're going to need some empty containers. Um, this, let's see, this paint, um, the reason we need empty containers is because we're going to be adding some water to our paint to make it pour easier. And this one from Apple Barrel, which was pure pink, already had just a tiny bit, so I added my water to it already in this container. So you might be able to use some containers like this if you don't have anything like this on hand. Um, just use but this is what I'm going to show you how I mix so this color is cameo pink also apple barrel so I take a, whatever I think I'm going to need there's no real measurement and then I that's the paint and then I just pour a little bit of water probably about as much as I add I probably do about 50 50 and I'm really guessing that's all I I do here is guess. So then I'm just going to shake that up really good. I keep a bottle of water in my craft room right down here next to me. It's always handy to have. And then I have white paint already mixed from doing other pours. And I'm going to use a white as well. So now what we have to do is we just have to get ourselves a little Dixie cup. I have my um, my bubble heart stuck in a cone, a styrofoam cone on a styrofoam plate. And um, I did put it in this for weight, but I think I'm going to take it out of that. And I think, honestly, I'm just going to maybe glue this down to my plate. Is my glue gun on? It's plugged in. Hmm. Let's try another plug, but that should be working. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put you on hold, and I'm going to glue this down and get a Dixie cup, and I'll be right back. Okay, so while we're waiting for the um, glue gun to heat up, I want to show you my secret to success in paint pouring, okay? So I have my white, I have my cameo pink, and I have my pure pink, all from Apple Barrel. Okay, can you see? I'm going to pour them into a Dixie cup, but before I do that... Um, my secret to success is to pour a couple of drops of the, the uh, gloss, it has to be gloss, well it doesn't have to be, but I ma it makes the paint shiny and not as cracked and dry when dried, so I use the gloss, otherwise you don't need to do this step at all, but this is my secret to success. So I'm going to squeeze a couple of drops into each um, container of paint and then I'm going to shake it up good and really you just it's almost this one's almost empty but you just need a little zhuzh a little squirt okay and then we're going to shake these up again really really well And that gives it a nice shiny consistency, almost like if you were going to make hot fudge with paint, but when it dries, it just looks like brown dried paint. But if you add a little bit of your gloss Mod Podge to it, it will come out shiny like hot fudge. All right, so we're giving these a good shake, 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 shake. And then we're going to layer them into the Dixie cup. So I'm going to put my Dixie cup here so you can see. And then it's going to go upside down. I'm going to pour, right? So I'm going to start with white because I kind of want that to be my last layer. But it's going to be in between. So I'm going to, I'm not even going to use my little squirt. I'm just going to pour it in. So pour a little white. 
And then in between, I'm going to put the bright pink. And then I'm going to put the pale pink. And then some more white. Whoa, that could have been a disaster. Some more pink. Some more cameo. And I think I'm just going to go for some more pink. Oh, there's a big glob there. <gasps> Please hold, please hold. <laughs> please hold, just poured some pink, okay. I'll add a little white and a little more cameo and then we're gonna pour it. I think I'll add a little more than that. All right, now are you ready for this? Cause this is the fun part. Get everything out of the way. Move my cup over. Put this in front so you can see. I am going to wipe my hands before I turn the phone up so you can see what I'm doing. I just don't want to get paint on my phone. Okay, let me stand up. See what's gonna happen here. Put you into focus, and here goes. Get everything out of the way that you don't want, okay, to get any paint on. And now we are just going to pour. I'm gonna stand sideways, and I'm gonna hold the plate. It's kind of wiggly. Before I do this, I think I will rethink this one moment. Okay, so I think I have it a little more secure, so I'm going to go into the pour. Here goes nothing. Making sure to cover all of the areas, or as many areas as you can. You can go down the bottom and scoop some up. And pour some more. It does mix it a little bit more this way. But it comes out pretty when it's all dried. Really pretty. And when this is dry, you can go back and do another whole pour. Like if you want more white, you can go back and do another pour. Okay, I am going to let this dry. This is what we have. I'm going to turn it around so you can see both sides. And I'm going to just let this dry. And then when it's all dry, I'm going to do another pour. Okay, so while I let this dry a little bit longer, I already did a second coat and I am loving the way that it looks. It is still wet and it is drying, but this is what it looks like. I'm loving this so far. So while that is drying, prop that up over there. I went ahead and I have taken the Dollar Tree garden stakes that look like this. You get them when they look like this from the Dollar Tree. And I took them apart. I took two of them apart and painted them in a color called Flamingo Red by Apple Barrel.
And then I also took my five gallon painting stirring stick and painted both sides of that. Then I took this, it's adorable, but really it's a really cool craft. Um, I will try to get the link to this if you're interested and put it in the descriptions. But um, this is a miter saw. My sister bought me this. It's a little handy dandy miter saw. Look at those little sharp teeth. Um, and it has a little ledge to hang over your counter and it works really, really good. So what I've done is I have cut an angle at the bottom of my stake, or actually it's going to be the top because we're going to put that in the heart. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn the camera down because what I've already gone ahead and done to make sure that it will work and it looks like it's going to work perfectly is I hopped on over to the Cricut and printed out a couple of sayings to go on my arrows. One of them says Valentine Ling. And the other one is going to be pointing in the other direction. And that one is going to say Cupid's Corner. But what I've done is I've printed that out from Dollar Tree. I just want you to know that. One of these days I'm going to actually show you my printing this out on Dollar Tree. Um, but this, take it my word for it. This is Dollar Tree vinyl. And instead of using, using, sorry, let me wet my whistle. Instead of using transfer tape, I am using, I've already put it up, but it's um, Press and Seal from Glad. And it's not as tacky, so I'm using that to put it, to transfer it onto my wood. So I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to make sure my arrows are going the right way first. I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to show you how. Um, we put this, transfer this onto our wood using press and seal. All right, here we go. Put the camera down. All right. You okay? Yes, So this is the Cupid's Corner. I want this one to, first of all, so I have the press and seal stuck to it. And what you want to do is just make sure that's good and stuck to it. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. This is called burnishing. I didn't make this term up, um, but that's the term for it. I'm not bleeding here, just to let you know that is paint. Now, what we hope for is, without any problems, but this sometimes does have finicky is finicky we gotta have get it started and then once you get it started it will usually come right off and stay on your you have to sometimes have patience with it but for the most part that's the trick with all vinyl okay so now we have our words cupid's corner transferred onto our press and seal now I want to press this onto my wooden sign. So I'm just going to try to do my best at centering it. And then I'm just going to press it down and commit to it. Okay. So I'm pressing it down right onto my wood. And I'm going to use my Dollar Tree scraper that is a Cricut dupe and burnish that on my wood. Paying mostly close attention to where my letters are. Rubbing that in good so that when we take off our press and seal, our letters will now be on our wood and we are not pulling up our paint. Here's a perfect example of where you need patience. So we started pulling up the letter S, so we just need to go back rub that on a little bit better we'll catch this side and there we go just a little pick up oh, here we go on the comma like i said this happens with every vinyl i have ever worked with if this is not because it's dollar tree trust me now let's see i think we got it oh, a little bit there 
Sometimes just going in the opposite direction helps too. Okay, so now we have our Cupid's Corner and Valentine Lane. And we are going to put these on our five gallon paint stick. And I'm just going to hot glue them, but you might choose to use a stapler. Um, but before I do that, let's just see. This is not quite dry, but let's say we're going to stick this stick up inside this heart probably this much. Let me see. So I probably don't want my first sign any lower than this. So I'm going to mark that with my eye. I'm going to put a good glob of hot. This is going to be inside at my house, but if you are going to do this for um, an outside craft, you might want to use something more um, permanent, such as E6000. But this is going to be inside my house, so I'm just going to use hot glue for today. All right, and then I'm going to put the next one down approximately, yeah, whatever looks good to your eye. This looks good to my eyes, so put this glob of glue, and you can see I am giving that a generous amount. So we're going to just put this one here and hold them both down. And then the worst part is going to be putting this up inside the styrofoam. I think what I am going to use is, to get mine started is this handy dandy um, saw that comes with that. But you could use any serrated steak knife or craft knife, um, anything in just to get a little hole started and that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put this aside and let that continue drying whoops after I get all the spider webs off all right let's go ahead and give this a quick little dry before we handle it This has been drying for probably five hours, but it has a lot of paint on it. Very pretty. I love this effect. I make a lot of tumblers with the, it's called Dirty Pour. And I really love the technique. All right, I'm going to put this on hold, dry this up a little bit more, and I will be right back. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I am... I just sliced a little hole into the, I picked a side of the heart that I wanted to be the front, which is this side. And in the back side, I decided where approximately to start my hole with my stick. And then I started cutting away with this tool that I found very quickly only works great this way it doesn't work good this way so then because this is styrofoam i started heating up my cricut tool from the dollar tree and this is a dupe for their spatula and so i am just heating this up actually using the stand on my little heat gun and holding it about 30 seconds or so and then I'm sliding this in and 
trying to get in deeper and deeper, but very slowly pushing, not forceful because I don't want to break it. I'm just trying to get it big enough for my stick to go through. And I think that will do it. Sorry for the squeaking. This is very hot, so we're gonna put that aside. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the tip, the point that we made, just a little. And now I'm gonna pull this stick out that I used for painting and I'm going to slide this stick right in very slowly giving it a real lot of force but very slow sticking that in okay so now let me hold this up and show you. This is what we have. So cute. This is exactly what I was envisioning so far. Okay, now we need something to put the bottom in. And I am going to be using one of these, one of these pots from the Dollar Tree but you could use any pot. And I'm gonna be putting rocks inside this and probably styrofoam and glue this down first. And then I'm gonna put some rocks in. So I'm gonna clean up all this mess and we'll be right back to the bottom part of our craft. Okay, so I have taken my container and pretty much stuffed it with styrofoam that I had laying around. I also took this tool, heated it up. This tool is from the Dollar Tree. It's their Cricut dupe for their spatula. And I started wedging a hole again in the bottom where the stick will go. I have my rocks also from the Dollar Tree, my bag of rocks, which I'll probably just place in there. But before I do that, I wanted to, I usually do this beforehand and I forgot, but I wanna take my um, sanding block and I just wanna go around a little bits and pieces of like where the sign would be worn before uh, if it was a little bit older. I just don't want it to look brand, brand, new if that makes any sense so I like to just plus these are really rough pieces these garden stakes so I like to just give that a little zhuzhing up so bear with me here and this is another amazing crafters tool that my sister gave me my sister is my best friend and my sister and um, we do a lot of crafts together she is also part of angel <coughs> excuse my cough angel creations but she is more of a behind the scenes angel but one day one day when she retires she has a full-time job you'll see her a little bit more I'm hoping anyway all right, so I can do a lot more of that off camera, but that gives you an idea. I like to rough it up just a little bit, but I hate the sound of this. So here is what we have so far, our heart, our little signs that we made, and um, it's working perfectly fine. Just press that in really, really good. You are good to go. Now I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit put this back over here in front of us. I'm going to give this just a little bit of glue before I stick my stick in. Now, remember, this is styrofoam and it will melt. But I want to have, just for my own peace of mind, I want to know that it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to push that in as far as I can. 
Now what I'm going to do is put rocks in here and I'm also going to top those rocks off with some little candies like Hershey Kisses and individually wrapped candies um, because this is just going to be going in my home. But you can do you. You could put this outside. You could weatherproof this, put it outside and you could put flowers in it. Um, you could make a much smaller version of this and just put it um, a smaller version in your bathroom on your counter or sink and put little face cloths or guest towels in it. That would be cute. Um, I don't know. Really, you can do so many things. And if you do do something, I would love it if you send me a picture of something that you made that I inspired you to make. If you send me a picture, I will put that on the end of my video and show people. So I would love to see your creations. Okay, good. Need a couple more here just to fill in the blanks. And here we have it. Now, one more thing I want to do to this, and now I'm going to have all kinds of treats in here. The last thing I want to do to this is just real simple. I'm going to put the camera up. Do you remember these little hearts that we got off of our little uh, picture frame that we got the other day that said hearts and kisses, I think it said, and we redid that? Well, I'm going to put these on our bubble heart, so let me stand up. And so you can see the heart. I might have to go higher. Nope, this is good. And now I'm just going to put a very little bit of glue, just a tad, because it is styrofoam. And I'm going to put one here. Just hold that on for a moment. And then I'm going to put the other one on. Way right here and hold that on and I love this obviously everybody's is going to be different I would love to see what you did let me see if I stand back if you can see the whole thing how cute is that? So it says Valentine Lane is this way and Cupid's Corner is that way. You could even add another arrow, which I may do. Uh, but for time's sake, this is what I have for you today. I love it. I love the heart especially. Here's the back. Nice and clean. So if you're coming either direction, real cute. I should have brought some candy to put in this so you get the full effect. But um, how's this for cuteness overload? Love it. All right, this is a great time to stop what you're doing and give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> and if you are not already subscribed go ahead and do so it's free we have a lot of fun over here okay until the next time i see you be good and do good bye now